Dominion Voting Systems Corporation is a company that sells electronic voting hardware and software, including voting machines and tabulators, in the United States and Canada. 1. The company's international headquarters are in Toronto, Canada, and its U.S. headquarters are in Denver, Colorado. The company carries out in-house software development for its customers in the United States, Canada, and Serbia. 2. Dominion was the subject of a hoax originated by followers of the far-right QAnon conspiracy theory, later spread by One America News Network, President Donald Trump, and Trump's surrogates and supporters. They alleged that the company's voting machines had been compromised, resulting in millions of votes for Trump being deleted or switched to votes for Joe Biden in the 2020 presidential election. Some made false claims that Dominion had close ties to the Clinton family or other Democrats. 345. There is no evidence supporting these claims, which have been debunked by various groups including election technology experts, government and voting industry officials, and the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA. 35. Dominion was founded in 2002 in Toronto, Canada, by John Poulos and James Hoover. 6. In May 2010, Dominion acquired Premier Election Solutions, formerly Diebold Election Systems, from Election Systems and Software, S&S. S&S had just acquired PES from Diebold and was required to sell off PES by the United States Department of Justice for antitrust concerns. In June 2010, Dominion acquired Sequoia Voting Systems. 7. Better Source Needed Dominion is the second largest seller of voting machines in the United States. 8. In 2016, Its machine served 70 million voters in 1,600 jurisdictions. 9-10, in 2019, the state of Georgia selected Dominion Voting Systems to provide its new statewide voting system beginning in 2020. 11. Following the 2020 United States presidential election, Donald Trump and some other right-wing personalities amplified the hoax originated by the proponents of the far-right QAnon conspiracy theory that Dominion Voting Systems had been compromised, resulting in millions of votes intended for Trump either being deleted or going to rival Joe Biden. 453, Trump and others also made unsubstantiated claims that Dominion had close ties to the Clinton family or other Democrats. 12, there is no evidence for any of these claims, which have been debunked by various groups including election technology experts, government and voting industry officials, and CISA. 35, on November 12, 2020, CISA released a statement that confirmed there is no evidence that any voting system deleted or lost votes, changed votes or was in any way compromised. The statement was signed by various government and voting industry officials including the presidents of the National Association of State Election Directors and the National Association of Secretaries of State. 5. In a related hoax, Dennis Montgomery, a software designer with a history of making dubious claims, asserted that a government supercomputer program was used to switch votes from Trump to Biden on voting machines. Sidney Powell, an attorney representing the president, promoted the hoax on Lou Dobbs's Fox Business program two days after the election, and again two days later on Maria Bartiromo's program, claiming to have evidence that that is exactly what happened. Christopher Krebs, the director of CISA, characterized the claim as nonsense and a hoax. 1314. Dominion Voting Systems is Canada's largest election system provider, with deployments nationwide. Currently, Dominion provides optical scan paper ballot tabulation systems for provincial elections, including Ontario and New Brunswick. Dominion also provides ballot tabulation and voting systems for Canada's major party leadership elections, including the Liberal Party of Canada, the Conservative Party of Canada, and the PC Party of Ontario. 15-16-17 Ontario was the first Canadian province to use Dominion's tabulator machines in the 2006 elections. Citation needed, New Brunswick used Dominion's 763 tabulator machines in the 2014 provincial elections. 18. There were some problems with the reporting of tabulator counts after the election, and at 10.45 p.m. elections New Brunswick officially suspended the results reporting count with 17 writings still undeclared. 19. The Progressive Conservatives and the People's Alliance of New Brunswick called for a hand count of all ballots. Recounts were held in 7 of 49 writings and the results were upheld with variations of no more than one vote per candidate per writing. Citation needed, 
This delay in results reporting was caused by an off-the-shelf software application unrelated to Dominion. 20. In June 2018, Elections Ontario used Dominion's tabulator machines for the provincial election and deployed them at 50% of polling stations. 21-22. Poulos, President and CEO of Dominion, has a BS in Electrical Engineering from the University of Toronto and an MBA from INSEAD, in Fontainebleau, France. 23. Hoover, Vice President, has an MS in Mechanical Engineering from the University of Alberta. 24.